How's it going, everybody? They're going to space. All right. With those words, one of E-Class's most daring escapades was, well, launched. With those words, one of E-Class's most daring escapades was, well, launched. I hope you die. I hope you die in space, Nagisa. I'm not equipped to handle heavy objects, you see. A five-ton capsule might as well be a reinforced bank safe for all I'd be able to carry it. Why did he compare it to something lighter? He could have just said a five-ton capsule might as well be a five-ton capsule for all I could carry it. Five tons of capsule is a heck of a lot of capsule. I can buy that that would be hard to lift. Does Japan really have the tech to launch an unmanned rocket into space? It's hard to believe, but as it so happens, yes. Can you imagine being in class and being like, hey, what if we went to space? and then going to space later that day? What a bunch of privileged assholes. My school field trip to Six Flags got canceled one year because we couldn't afford that and prom. There were a lot of unknowns, a lot to be terrified of. But when there's a problem to tackle, we come together. And when we come together, blast off. I got guns in my head and they won't go. Spirits in my head and they won't go. First off, the rocket only holds two people. Who's going? Me! Ah, oh, wonderful. Boys will be boys. Do you not want to go to space, you privileged asshole? I want to go anyway. Huh? You? I love technology. The whole idea makes my mouth water. Okay, well, you're not going to eat the rocket, so let's get that straight right now. It's clear to me who should go. Nagisa. Uh. Karma. What? Absolutely do not send Nagisa and Karma together, are you kidding me? Unless you want that spaceship to come back absolutely soiled. Karma the fighter in case there's a scuffle, and Nagisa the assassin just to be safe. How about Nagisa the fighter and the assassin and Karma the useless whiny bitch? Nagisa just beat Karma in a fist fight, Karma has no value anymore. Great. Everyone save up some money so we can cover the cost. The cost of what? A spaceship? Where do you buy a spaceship? Huh? Anyone know? I say we give it a shot. What's better than a trip to outer space with your best friend? Is that what you guys are? Best friends? Didn't they have to pry you off of Karma's windpipe yesterday? We're here for a field trip, but we got kind of lost. We followed some random science guy and wound up in- That door is right in front of them. Never mind, these guys deserve to get robbed. You know something? This takes me back. You know something? This is insane. <laughs> I'm sure everyone thought this when watching this scene, but like imagine the rocket exploded. I mean, there was a huge chance of that happening. This was a previously untested spaceship, right? Koro sensei, yeah? there's something I'd like to say. You never waste an opportunity to teach us something. You never waste an opportunity to almost blow up your students. Also, look at this perfect expert level gas lighting finally come to fruition. Kuro Sensei, a mass murdering super being, not only tricked a classroom full of students into saving his life, but he got them to do it thinking he did it in their best interest. What a maniac. What a grade A manipulative maniac. What happened to the sound? Rendezvous complete. Oh, that's right. Space. Hey, you're Misery, right? I've seen you on TV. What the? They didn't say anything about kids being on board. Whoa, that's so weird. There are Japanese subtitles because these are American astronauts. So that must mean... So that must mean in the sub, are the Japanese voice actors speaking English? <laughs> We have a bomb. We would like to do this peacefully. Whoa! Whoa, that's so funny! Wow, Nagisa's voice actor in the sub is so, like, blatantly a woman. Ugh, that was weird. <laughs> going back to the- going back to the version you all hate. You guys like that brief tease of the version you've been wanting me to watch for, like, a year now? Nope, fuck it, I'm running the show here. But really? You can't seriously think we're that easy to take out. That's fair. This guy looks like Mr. Clean swallowed John Cena. You gonna ask the guys you just threatened to give you a lift? We can manage on our own. Our classmate worked out the return- Don't play the wholesome piano! Now he's just threatening them with a bomb! <laughs> Look, pal, I'm not here because I want to be. Uh-uh. Huh? I'm here because my friend asked me. You guys are international terrorists. Okay, they'll hang you for this. Well, boy. Guess I'll take it upon myself to accept your demands. 
We'll let them see the files. That's insane. This guy has to have space madness or something. In the end, more than anything else, I think the crew just wanted to give a couple of junior high kids the experience of a lifetime. In the end, more than anything else, I think the crew just wanted you to not blow them up. There you go. Every last file. <laughs> nice Asus Rogue Gaming Laptop, US Astronauts. You guys got League on there? Junior High sure isn't what it used to be when I was a kid. We just met the next generation of heroes. Come back soon. Legally next time, though. What is happening? Is there a gas leak? Is the moon radioactive? What is this ending? No astronaut would be cool with this. They just got threatened by foreign terrorists who just stole classified data from them. Hey. Do you want to know something? It may be hard to believe, but I've just processed my very first emotion. There's no other word for it. Being a part of this class has made me happy. Hey, you want to know something? That's not your first emotion. You seem pretty damn happy when you stop being a slave to those software engineers like 30 episodes ago. Yeah, they made it. They're back home. I can't believe they went to space and back in a day. I also can't believe they're not being shot down by a US missile right now. Like they have stolen classified US documents. God, this is the dumbest. Merry Christmas! <gasps> Christmas episode. Oh, I think I'm starting to get the picture. You're trying to cram all the good times you missed out on over the winter break into February. Is that what this is? Precisely. Aw. Not a Christmas episode. The briefest episode transition ever, because today, I'm not gonna focus on my Patreon, all right? You're all sick of hearing about that. Instead, I'm gonna shamelessly plug my most recent video, other than this one, obviously, which is what's the deal with Black Clover. I just wanna let you guys know that that video's finally up. I worked super hard on it. I think it turned out really cool. And I really want your guys' feedback on whether or not you like that new style of video. The way it's constructed uh, makes it viewable for people who have seen Black Clover and people who haven't. So even if you've never seen Black Clover, even if you've just got like a fleeting interest in it, I recommend you check it out. Uh, like I said, I think it turned out pretty funny. And uh, yeah, I just want to get your guys' opinion on whether or not you want to see more videos in the what's the deal style format. It's a great way for me to just burn through like 12 or so episodes of a show in one video in one week. And so I'm thinking for the next one, I want to either do a part two to Black Clover or the entirety of the case study of Vanitas or even Tokyo Revengers. But the point is... I can finally get through all of these shows now with this format. And even if you don't like the new format, let me know in the comments how you think it can be improved, what you want to see from future versions of it. And yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for your flexibility and support and just like allowing me to experiment with weird new video styles. And yeah, like I said, brief, brief, uh, the brief one, whatever this is. On to the not Christmas episode. I figure I'll just stay at Kanuki Gauka. <gasps> Put yourself in the shoes of the kids on main campus. The guy they thought was exiled is suddenly back, looming head and shoulders above them all. Well, leave it to Karma to choose a high school based purely out of spite. It's also wild that these kids have to choose what high school they're going to. That must be a private school thing, right? Like in public school, we just climbed the school ladder, you know? The kids you went to high school with were the same kids you went to fourth grade with. Like it's wild that there's this huge selection of high schools that they get to choose from. D privileged assholes. You're supposed to be giving me the academic chops to march back into school. I thought the idea was to enroll this term, not when I'm like old and crusty. Jesus Christ, first off, you're already old and crusty. You're like a 30-year-old woman in preschool, alright? Your best years are already behind you. Second, Nagisa dazed off for like two seconds. Give him a break. Your path seems pretty clear to me. What have we been doing this entire time? You're gonna be a teacher, silly. I mean... I guess. This is like the only person Nagisa's ever taught. And also, according to her, he's not even very good at it. Suppose a kid gets saved by a doctor. Naturally, he grows up wanting to be one. A kid sees an assassin wielding his blade. And from then on, it's all he can think about. That is absolutely not true. The assassin part is, like, if I was 10 years old and I saw an assassin murder a guy outside of my window, I would never stop talking about the time when I was 10 years old and I saw an assassin murder a guy outside my window. But like, I've been to plenty of doctors. My mom has been saved by plenty of doctors. There ain't a single PhD in the Mata bloodline, though. I'll 
never be a teacher like him, that's for sure. You'll never be a lot of things like him. An octopus, for example. I, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking you're about. Sick. Huh? It's Valentine's Day. I'm just excited is all. Oh boy, Valentine's Day. This could either be great or horrible. <laughs> Who's the lucky fella you're giving these to? What are you talking about? They're just a formality! Aw oh shit, Nagisa's about to get his ass chocolated. His self-esteem isn't exactly the highest. Poor guy can't imagine the opposite sex wanting anything to do with him. Um, I disagree. Did you see the amount of tongue Nagisa was stuffing into her? That kiss was bursting with self-esteem. I have no real-life experience crushing on a classmate. Like, what am I supposed to say when I give the chocolates to him? Okay, here's what you say. You go up to him and you say, Hi, chocolates, have some Nagisa. Then you realize your mistake, piss yourself, and throw up, and then run away. I mean, that's what I'd do, at least. Your shots are just as accurate when using chocolate ammunition. Here's the rest. Um, that's hype. If a girl got me a magazine of Choco Rounds, I'd be head over heels for her in an instant. Whoa! All these for me? Is this for real? Yes! Yes! The best boy gets the best chocolate! Nothing fancy, just bulk stuff from a wholesale store. Took me four hours to ride there and back. The hell are you talking about? Oh, nothing fancy, just took me four hours to get all this. <sighs> Okay, Kaino, nice tactic, totally not weird. Nothing screams this is a casually romantic Valentine's Day gift, like stealthily waiting behind a corner and pulling your friend to the side while staring at the ground in silence. Kaino? Nothing says casual romance like 30 uninterrupted seconds of silence. What's Koro-sensei doing up there? He's fixated, whatever it is. <gasps> What happened to saving his life? What, were those save his life bullets? Here. Uh, are you sure? Yep. But okay, I'm then. The one mission accomplished. Job yeah, well I done. Move along. Nice See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Nice. Mission accomplished. Good work, Kaino. I still think you should have thrown up on yourself, but I realize that that's sort of an expert level move. I had Kaino leave a note and some chocolates somewhere obvious. With a special photo, of course. Dog. Why does Kaino have a printed out photo of her dead sister in a bikini? Right, like whatever, girls take pictures of each other at the beach all the time. But I feel like if you had a photo like this of your dead sister, you wouldn't just be handing it out to people. A four star Valentine's Day dinner. What's in it for you? Mm -hmm. I'm told you men folk tend to give back three times as much on white day. You men folk? What are you, a wildling? I got a veritable boatload of chocolates even for me. I'm sure a few kids thought it might be their last Valentine's Day. Wow, okay, incredibly dark. Leave it to Yelovich to bring down the mood of a date. The government is moving forward with a secret assassination project. There's no doubt. Oh my god, what are they building? A Metal Gear? That's hype! What are they building? <laughs> a first-rate mind and a first-rate figure. You killed this woman! Miss Yukimura, I believe. It's a pity we lost such talent. You're not at all disturbed by the fact that he was jerking off to that photo? If you do survive this, would you indulge me? I want you to continue teaching E-Class next year. You just caught him beating off to the photo of a dead ex-teacher from the school. Don't offer him a job! Alas, I decided it's best for this year to be my last at the blackboard. What will you do? What is that? Your feelings run too deep. Over the past year, they've taken the wheel. If you're this worried about your students being affected, what might another job down the road put you through? Yeah, Yelovich, you were gonna just shoot him right there and then, huh? No, you're totally in check of your emotions, really proving him wrong right here. Irina, why don't you come work for us? Um, maybe because this is the second time she's tried to kill you. What do you mean a shrine? You are aware that I identify as Christian, right? And why stay with- Since when? You're a pretty loose Christian lady. I don't think you understand. There's no church anywhere near my house. Sorry. Uh... <gasps> oh shit! Whoa! Whoa! Yo, finally! Oh man, that was slick as hell! That was the coldest move I've seen in my entire life. That ice was dry. A, a man and a woman can't live together out of wedlock? What will people think? You kill people you sleep with. But now I always seem to freeze the